haven't seen the Chiefs such popularity since, well, NWA. For those who don't know, the phrase riding dirty refers to having something illegal in your car while driving, usually drugs. And in the context of this chorus, he's referring to racist cops who use their bad as an excuse to have for people of color because they assume that they're rolling in a nice ride. It's probably because they're doing something illegal. And so these racist cops can't wait to reaffirm them by a few that pull over a black man with the intent of putting them in their place as it were. That's like being fair. And this is a very real problem. Seeing that black people are only about 13 percent of the population, there is a disproportionate amount of black people who are arrested for having marijuana in comparison to white people being arrested for having it. And if you've ever been to a predominantly white college, you'll know that it's not because white kids don't have as much. And by the same song nature of the chorus, it seems to take pleasure in subverting the cost expectations and a slip way calling out that racial disparity. At least, at least I think it is. It doesn't explicitly say that, but, you know, pretty sure. Okay, so we start off with humiliating expressing his desire to be seen while saying that the car is tinted, but he can't really say it that well. That's the best way to start off with a little bit of whatever. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's going to be the point of the review. I just rather not hear someone say that phrase in the song for a while. Alright, here he's saying that if you try to kill his stuff, kill him. Wait, what is this song on? Uh, is he telling this to the girl he's in the car with? Well, I guess telling her that he can protect himself from being carjackers is probably would make her feel safe. But hey, when you're talking to a lady in your car, you shouldn't immediately follow a line about having a gun with a line about being mentally unstable. That's nice. So, but how about those cops? Okay, so finally we get to the point. Police are asking him just because he has a nice car. Oh, wait, so your friend is missing up something that he wants you to take a hit of? Um, but no. Police are left behind in a big ass throw. And when the police roll up, he swallowed that thing that he wanted you to take a hit of? And then you immediately roll down your windows to get rid of the smallest thing, Perry. Did he take this like I would never do it? Hey, hey, don't take the subject of water rocket dirty. Well, I guess he never explicitly said that he wasn't riding dirty. He just said that they were trying to catch him riding dirty. What was great, he never said he spoke anything while riding either. He said that his friends were about to let something up and offered him to ask what he never does. However, the cops still ate the all that he did the for both of them. So I mean, that statistically would be three times less likely to happen if they were white. Now, this is a bit of a nuanced criticism I'm going to here. Because I'm not saying that if a black dude should be caught doing something illegal, he shouldn't go to jail far from it. However, I'm saying that a young black male driving an ass car should be held under the same scrutiny by police officers as if you were, say, the late 20s, early 30s, upper class white guy with a suit and tie on in a nice car. By the way, thank you for the video for that illustration. Now that I think about the music videos counting more on racial bias than the actual song is so far. Anyway, is Tiny Lister supposed to be a racist cop? Okay, so any black guy, whatever. But yeah, this guy's a young, rich rapper who got where he was by being a talented artist. And if you want to enjoy the fruits of his success, he shouldn't be broke off for it. Yeah, so what do you have to warn out for his arrest in every city but Houston? Jesus, man. Also, what are you doing that's illegal in every other city? What? Well, I mean, regardless, look, I understand about racial profiling and all that, but he's got warrants in almost every city in America. There's no way it's racial profiling at that point. I'm pretty sure he's got a girl. Either that or he needs to stop letting his stoner friend ride passenger. Regardless, that was not a good way to end that verse. And I mean, for the most part, the neighbor doesn't directly come off as a stereotype that leads to make him out of me. So I tried to get the guy to jump over down. But a lot like that throws all of it out the window. Especially at the tail end here. I don't know, maybe it gets first crazy mode to give us a more empathetic character. The guy who's getting harassed by the cops, even though he's done nothing wrong. But he's getting a smoke and holy shit, so let it get focused. Okay, never mind that idea. <laughs> Uh, on the girl he's saying, so he's so, so driving a new car down the sidewalk. <laughs> and he's going to throw it on the sidewalk. Wow, that's not good. Yeah, there's no justification for this. And you can argue about making me legal all day, but I think you'll have far fewer reports for driving a thousand per hour while talking high. Sorry, I don't care how racist you think they are. I'm going to have to sign with the cops when you're doing it. That can directly lead to a <laughs> Version of this song. Here's how we're supposed to be rooting for Crazy Bone here with the cool badass with the tail end of the song so we're the exact reason why it's illegal to be a pair behind the wheel of a car. Dang! I see you. He's 